Hi, I'm Norman A. Hood, financial advisor and host of the Exit Plan Show. I interview America's top advisors, like today's guest, Don Ford of Ford Bergner, to help business owners enjoy more personal freedom, grow their companies faster, and transition ownership seamlessly when the time comes. Welcome to the show, Don. Thank nice you. to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Um, we're going to start out, and I'm just going to have you tell our audience a little bit about your education, your background, and your career path up till now. Great. Uh, so, education, I'm uh, a graduate of Baylor University, mm -hmm. uh, both undergrad and law school. Mm -hmm. I uh, have a degree in accounting from Baylor. I worked on my master's in taxation. Mm -hmm. While I was in law school, I didn't finish the master's because it was going to keep me in school for another year, and I didn't want to stay in school right. another year. Uh, and then I did my law degree as well while I was, in, while I was working on the master's. I, I finished my law degree as well. Okay. And then you've been practicing for? I've been practicing since 1997. Okay. So you have a lot of experience. And opened my firm in 1999. Okay. How would the people that know you best, how do you think they'd describe you, your close friends, relatives? Close friends, relatives, uh, clients, employees would all describe me, I think, as hardworking, mm -hmm. uh, um, aggressive yet compassionate. Mm -hmm. um, I'm empathetic with my clients, mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, I know that we've got a job to get done and we've got to do the best that we can do for the client. And so my clients know that I'm going to mm -hmm. advocate as much as I can for them, mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, try to uh, you know meet with them where they are and, and uh, mm -hmm. understand where they're coming from because emotion drives a lot of what we do. Okay. Um, personal feelings drive a lot of what we do. And so mm -hmm. I'm going to try to help them with that. Okay. As far as Ford Bergner, uh, could you tell us the different services you offer? A little bit more about the firm. Sure, we're a an estate and trust litigation boutique firm, okay. um, and what that means basically is that we um, we handle estate and trust matters kind of from start to finish. We'll do planning, drafting mm -hmm. wills, drafting trust, that kind of thing, um, and then we'll go all you know we'll administer them if somebody dies, mm -hmm. um, and then we'll go all the way to the end of, of litigating those things. We've been to the Texas Supreme Court and back. Mm -hmm. um, we've been to the multiple courts of appeals and back. Mm -hmm. uh, we've tried lots of cases in all around the state of Texas. Mm -hmm. We have an office in Houston. Our main office is in Houston, which we opened in 1999. Mm -hmm. And in 2005, we opened an office in Dallas. And so okay. our our offices, our two offices do the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, so we serve, we end up serving clients literally all over the state of Texas. Um, okay. In specifically in estate and trust issues. Mm -hmm. um, we don't go beyond that really, but, uh, but we service a lot of clients around the state of Texas. Okay. So you're pretty narrow already, but I'm sure there's some other firms that are, that are as narrow maybe. So what do you think differentiates you from some of the other law firms, even in this specific niche? So so generally what you'll see a lot of times is you'll see that there's estate planners on one side, people who draft mm -hmm. wills and trusts, and you'll see people that they're, that do litigation of these types of issues mm -hmm. um, on the other side, and they don't really like to do much planning, and these folks mm -hmm. don't like to do much litigation. Mm -hmm. And so we provide somewhat of a unique uh, opportunity in that we will do planning, mm -hmm. uh, you know, maybe not the highest end of planning. We might bring in a, an expert to help us with that, but we'll do a lot of estate planning, but we also do the litigation. So we're able to mm -hmm. kind of see all ends of the spectrum and provide clients with a, mm -hmm. a beginning to end type of service. Mm -hmm. Helps you know what to avoid too. Helps us know what to avoid, helps us know how to really adequately plan, mm -hmm. but then once we're litigating it, it helps us understand what are the nuances in the documents. Okay. And then personally, is there any one thing you like to do more than anything else at Ford Bergner? You know, I, I you know, as the managing partner and the guy who started the firm, mm -hmm. uh, I end up getting called on to do a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. Probably what I enjoy doing the most is I enjoy talking to people. Okay. Um, I, you know, I really enjoy sitting down with a client mm -hmm. and really kind of diagnosing, almost like a doctor would diagnose what needs to happen. I like to sit down and I like to really diagnose, here's the things that we need to do. Here's the issues you're faced with, mm -hmm. and here's how we solve those problems. So oh. I just like the interaction of of really talking with the client and really getting to know them. Okay. You've been doing this a while. You like the client interaction. Where do you get the energy to keep doing it? Why? I mean, why did you choose this particular area of work? 
and focus and, and what keeps you doing it? Sure. Well, you know, my grandfather was born, I, I'm Don the Third. Mm-hmm. Um, my grandfather was born in 1901. He was Don the Original, we like mm-hmm. to say. <laughs> uh, and he was born in a small town in East Texas, mm-hmm. uh, grew up on the farm, uh, was valedictorian of his 10 member high school class in mm-hmm. 1918 or something like that. Uh, and you know, he left the farm at, at 17 with about $75 in his pocket that he had borrowed from his uncle mm-hmm. and went to the big city mm-hmm. uh, to make his way in the world and make his fortune. And when he died in 1992, he died a very wealthy man. But in the, in the interim, he developed a passion. He was a lawyer also. He developed a passion for estate planning, financial planning, all those kinds of things. And so when I was growing up, I'd go to my grandfather's house and he would sit there and talk to me about the stock market. And he'd sit there and talk to me about planning for the future and, mm-hmm. and all of these kinds of things. And so he kind of beat it into me over the years, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that this was an interesting uh, uh, focus on life. It was an interesting way to look at um, issues as you're growing up and looking towards your future. And so when I went to college and got it, knew I was going to get an accounting degree, I wanted some way that I could marry my mm-hmm. accounting undergrad and my uh, law you know, experience, which I was very interested in. And then I had this nagging voice in the back of my mind, which was my grandfather, mm-hmm. you know, really kind of encouraging me this direction. Mm-hmm. And so um, it, it just really was the perfect complement to mm-hmm. really what had been kind of a lifelong mm-hmm. amount of training and, and, and learning and that kind of thing. So it's and kind it, of in a way to honor him. Too, I guess. Kind of in a way to honor him, um, you know. I, I I loved doing what I do because I get to litigate, but I also get to help people fix it right. and you know help them plan for the right thing. So I get a nice mix of right. a lot of different things, and and um, so it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it. Okay, I enjoy it. Last question. Business owners that watch our show are looking for advice in various areas. Sometimes they're looking for a way to uh, enjoy a little more personal freedom, not spend all their time on their company. Uh, Sometimes they're looking for a way to grow their company faster, uh, transition ownership to the next generation or to an insider. And then sometimes they're struggling with uh, redefining their purpose after they sell a company. They're not sure what they're going to do next or it might even hold them back. Now, in your case, you probably intersect with clients in various areas of that and even on the litigation side but if you could give them one tip in any of those four areas what do you think it would be well you know i I think you have to look at i I think you have to look at you know what what is important to you in life Mm -hmm. um what if if it's time for you to make that next step and retire or scale back or whatever that is i think you got to look at your priorities and what you value Mm -hmm. um and then you got to just make the leap, mm-hmm. uh, and I think you, sometimes you need to make the leap with a with a view towards what am I going to do? I want to I need a plan for what I'm going to do after I mm-hmm. after I'm done, mm-hmm. and that plan could be uh, I'm going to go volunteer at the church. That mm-hmm. plan could be I'm going to go volunteer for the parks department, or I'm going to mm-hmm. you know I'm going to go help my son in his business, right. or whatever that plan is. I think a lot of times planning for that next step helps, mm-hmm. um, but. It, it, at some point, you've got to just take the leap mm-hmm. and say, it's time for me to move on and do something else. Mm-hmm. I've enjoyed doing this. I'm going to keep my hand in this for a while, whatever that is. Mm-hmm. Um, but then you just got to take the leap and do it because I think I found that a lot of clients are just a lot happier once they, once they take that leap. Okay. Good interview. Good tip, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's an outstanding interview with Don Ford. He's with Ford Bergner. For more information about Don and his firm, please check out the show notes for this episode on our website.